Looking to buy a stage monitor speaker for 2022? Look no further than the best stage monitor speakers for 2022. These speakers are perfect for live performances and will give you excellent sound quality. Plus, they are easy to transport and set up, so you'll be ready for whatever comes your way. We have included links in the description box. Let's get started. At number 1 is Behringer Eurolib B205D. With a weight of under 7 pounds, the Behringer Eurolib B205D is the smallest and lightest item on our list. Although its 150W amplifier and 5.25LF speaker look incredibly underpowered in comparison to other monitors, evaluations show that this monitor's projection is just right for smaller stages and arenas. Its mic stand mountable design makes it the perfect stage monitor for vocalists and keyboardists. You may use the B205D as an excellent speaker for small-scale public address by just plugging a microphone into it. Additionally, as the controls are front-located, you may alter your sound instantly without a technician's assistance. The three-channel mixer has mic and line inputs, as well as RC is for music players. So let's talk about controls. Additionally, the three-band EQ makes it simple to adjust your sound. Notably, some reported out of the box flaws while others claim to experience issues within a year of purchase. It's not necessarily a deal breaker because these can still be covered under warranty. At number 2 is Behringer Eurolib Bone 112D. Price and quality can be balanced by Behringer to the detriment of the competitors. The Bone 112D, which for the price includes a 12 woofer, a 1.35 tweeter, and a 1000 watt amplifier with built in DSP for speaker protection, is a nice illustration of this. Despite not having a variety of voicings, it does include two band EQ settings that you can use to adjust the sound to the location and the sound source. To counteract the additional bass buildup that this location can cause when used on the floor, you might think about reducing the bass. If you're searching for a portable stage monitor with 12 woofers, the Bone 112D is a fantastic choice because it has all these capabilities packed into a thin plastic cabinet. It works well for less money, smaller locations, and for pop-up events. At number 3 is Alto Professional TS-308. The massive 1000W power section in the Alto TS-308 drives an 8LF driver and 1.4 neodymium magnet HF driver. The TS-308 includes a pole socket and several anchor points. The container features slanted sides for the optimum throw angle when used as a floor monitor. The device has a two-channel mixer. However, because of its smaller speaker, it may not often require an EQ or dedicated floor monitor voicing. For optimal mobility, the strength and adaptability are housed in a small, lightweight container. Even for an 8, the headroom and power are surprisingly loud speakers. The lower speaker size makes for clearer monitoring, which is necessary to maintain a low stage level during performances when used as a floor wedge. However, the smaller ATS 308's LF driver has a very large low frequency sound output. However, too much low end in an instrument will muddy and distort the LF driver at high levels. At number 4 is Mackie Thump 15A, who with a 15 would need a stage monitor. Woofer? Actually, there are several musicians, such as drummers, bass players, keyboardists, DJs, and others. And the Mackie Thump 15 fills this demand with its 15LF driver that, in comparison to its smaller brothers, focuses low frequencies more effectively. The Thump 12 shares the same specifications and design as this speaker, including a 1300-watt Class D amplifier and Mackie's dynamic bass response technology, with the exception of its larger woofer. This speaker is frequently used as the main FOH speaker by bands and DJ, but it's also useful as a stage monitor for artists such as bassists, guitarists using guitar modeling processors, keyboardists, and drummers using electronic drums. It is significant because it has a DSP-driven monitor mode to reduce the bass thump for floor use in particular. If you need to reduce the bass any further, there's also a mode for use with a subwoofer that may be used without one being connected in.
That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this video. And please like it if you did. If you're new here, click the subscribe button. Wishing you all the best until the next video.